I go in for a yearly blood test because my dad passed away 20 years ago from myelodysplasia. When it all finally came back, it was leukemia. Well, the minute they said cancer, you know, you're, everything stops. It's not supposed to be a word that you, you hear. Then the next deal was either to be sent to Denver for treatment or down to here. So we decided to come down to here even though it was twice as far. He came here and underwent standard treatment, which is chemotherapy, and he was very fortunate because he was found to have one of the rare good risk mutations um, to the point where he does not have to go to a stem cell transplant. I was checked into the hospital and they put my pick line in that day and I started my first seven day, seven day, 24 hour a day chemo. For five months he was going through very, very tough chemotherapy. Because the cancer is your blood, we are knocking out your blood, which as you know, is critical to life. And there's a lot of supportive care that's needed around that with blood products and antibiotics and catching things quickly and getting in early so that you, you know, can survive the treatment. I've been lucky. I haven't had any real side effects. I haven't had any nausea. It hasn't torn me up like, you know, like you envision. There's a good leukemia, I guess. I was one of the lucky ones that got it. And when I came in, my blood counts were good. I mean, they were, I wasn't real far into it. You just got to get through the shock of it. Yeah, you know, once you see the professionalism and I mean, like the nurses, everybody, you get along with all of them, you get to know everybody. And so you just, and this is the only floor they work on. If you got any questions, you can dare a phone call away or your case manager's a phone call away and he's, he's in touch with the doctors. He's doing very well trying to get back to his routine. Um, that really has no long-term effects from his treatment that he received, so feeling great. I've been one of the lucky ones. You know, I've, I caught it early and uh, I think just do your routine blood tests if something, something, something's telling you something isn't right. Just follow it up. Blood tests don't take nothing. I trust them. They know what they're doing.